Hello viewers, welcome back to Good Company India's Dream 11 IPL 2020 weekly report. As the third week of IPL progressed, it became quite clear that the overseas players have to up their game a lot more. With lot written about Glenn Maxwell's international form and his current IPL form when he himself also tweeted that he was shattered when he could not help Kings 11 Punjab cross the finishing line, it was quite evident that there is huge expectations on the foreign players, on this international overseas players to perform up to their international stature. With a few exceptional performances from A.B. De Villers, David Warner, Faz Duplessis and Karen Pollard, performing consistently every year, match-winning performances and match-winning acts from other overseas players have been far and few. So in this recap video, let's see which of these foreign players have performed exceptionally well, especially the last week, the third week of Dream 11 IPL 2020. A player who picked up pace last week was Andrik Norkier, the South African speedster impressed one and all with his impressive three wickets in four overs against KKR in the first match of last week. Bowling at a speed of 148 km per hour, he has reignited the fans' excitement with genuine fast bowling and is a big asset for Delhi Capitals this season along with Kagiso Rabara. It wouldn't be a surprise if Delhi with its strong batting and all-round bowling display lifts the trophy this year. In the same match, KKR's Eon Morgan hit three back-to-back -back sixes to Rabara and made 44 runs off just 18 balls. Until he was batting, KKR looked solid to chase down the historic 228, the highest total of this year's tournament. With teams batting deep and the expectation from number 5, 6 and 7 batsmen to hit out of the park, Eon Morgan batting at number 6 is one of the big overseas players KKR would expect more from him. In the match between Mumbai Indians and Sunrisers Hyderabad, Quentin Decock proved his selection as an opener and helped Mumbai Indian post a 208-45. For, for Mumbai Indian success, it is imminent that one of their openers, either Sharma or Decock, clicks and gives them a smashing start in the power plays. With Decock middling the ball well and scoring 67 of 39 balls, Mumbai Indians would be eyeing to finish at the top after all the league matches are over. Another overseas player on the list is West Indian Nicholas Puran, who hammered a 17 balls 50, fastest of this year's Dream 11 Indian Premier League. It is unfortunate that despite being a strong batting lineup, teams like Kings 11 Punjab, where KL Rahul, Mike Agarwal, and Glenn Maxwell, the team is looking at an early exit from the tournament. But Nicholas Puran has proved what he is capable of. In the fifth match of the week between Delhi Capitals and RCB, Marcus Stoinis top scored with 53 of 26 balls. Although it was Aksar Patel who was given the player of the match for his two wickets and 18 runs in four overs, as he bowled tight in the power play, my personal favorite was Kagiso Rabara, who took four wickets in four overs with only 24 runs. As I told earlier, Delhi Capitals look as well-balanced team where they have enough bowling options in Rapala, Andrik Norkia, Mishra, Aksar Patel and yes, Ashwin, who warned Aaron Finch for leaving the crease a little too early. One more inspiring performance last week was from George Butler for Rajasthan Royals who scored 70 of 44 balls. If Rajasthan Royals harbors any dreams of getting through the playoffs, it will require tremendous match-winning performance from George Butler and of course the informed Smith, Samson, Tevartya and Parag. Do not forget, Jofra Archer is there. In the match against Sunrisers Hyderabad and Kings 11 Punjab, Besto impressed with brilliant batting display scoring 97 of 55 balls and helped Sunrisers Hyderabad post 201 for 6 against the lackluster Kings 11 Punjab. Bastos speaking at the right time can help Sunrisers Hyderabad post big totals. With Bhuvneshwar Kumar ruled out of the tournament, SRH Bowling need those 25-30 extra runs that Basto can add along with Williamson's who is another gem of a cricketer hitting the ball correct. In the absence of toe crusher Rashid Malinga, Trent Bolt has been a great company to Jasprit Bomba, picking up 10 wickets in 6 matches. His fairy opening spell with Bumrah against Rajasthan Royals have helped MI get early breakthroughs and is one of the key overseas bowlers who has got all the right ammunition for success in this shorter format. West Indian Shimron Hitmare is another such a gem who is quite handy for Delhi. 
is 45 of 24 balls against Rajasthan Royals helped Delhi win comfortably last week. Hate mail has been tasked to bat in the death overs at the Capitals, something he's still coming to grips with but pretty decent in doing the job. Last but not the least on the list is Rashid Khan who was back to his best against Kings 11 Punjab taking 3 wickets in 4 overs with just 12 runs. With Bhuvneshwar out of the tournament, he will be key for Sunrisers Hyderabad. As the tournament nears the qualifier stage, the overseas players, both bowlers as well as the batsmen, will have to leverage on their international experience to help their Dream 11 Indian Premier League team to lift the title. I'll see you next week with another report of Dream 11 IPL 2020. Till then, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and sanitize.